Hi everyone, Charlie Bauer, Ladies Software Network, and we are live at five on a Tuesday. And I feel like this is like the old days when we have all kinds of things to talk about and really fast and really on the gas and really go, go, go. So hold on tight because we have a lot of things to talk about. <laughs> uh, first and foremost, our challenge. Our challenge is coming to a wrap up next Friday, ladies. Next Friday, you guys have until next Friday to finish everything up. Submit, 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 challenges, scavenger hunts, get those entries in. Our giveaway pile is getting bigger and bigger and bigger by the day. Make sure that you get your points in. You know who you are. I don't need to say anything else. I did just send you a reminder and email. Okay, then we had the convention. Woo! Throw some hearts, my ladies, for all of the convention ladies that came out. It was epic week there is no doubt about that at all uh lots of chaos lots of fun lots of learning capital l e a r n i n g a lot of it uh, we had adventures with polaris we changed tires with bf goodrich tires we did all kinds of cool things and we'll wrap that up after this because the hot topic of the night is we're going across country my friends are you ready for the map oh I'll give it to you in a second. <laughs> I know that's not fair, huh? But the cross country tour. So these are training tours. I uh, haven't done one. We did one in 2018. We did one in 2019, about 23 stops in 18, 75 stops around the country, including Canada in 2019. And then we all know what happened in 2020, <laughs> right? Yes. So we brought things back closer to home for us and uh, tried to go out last year, but it didn't work out in the scheduling and then the calendaring. So I'm very, very excited to be heading to the East Coast this year, meaning next week. So we have some hot on the gas moments that we gotta let everybody know about as soon as possible, because here we go, that convention just like took my time, but it is okay because it's going to be great, great, great. Um, so the tour, the, the trainings are going to be different, different than if you have done one of my classes in the past. And I think that that's very important. Like, why should I come back to your same town and do the exact same class? I'm going to add value with different things. So, uh, the very first hour from four to five will be a hangout session. So you'll check in, we'll have pizza, we'll hang out, we'll get to know each other, we'll chit chat, etc., etc. If you're not particularly doing the class for whatever reason, you can still come and hang out with us and then we will move on. So from five to nine is our class session and it's going to be different. So it's built for both the brand new person and for the most experienced off-roader. Uh, I can push you regardless of what level you're at. So if you're brand new or if you've had more experience, I can make sure that you learn with a lot. The list, though, this is what you want to know, right? The list. So the list is vehicle dynamics. What does that mean? Uh, Four-wheel drive, sway bars, lockers, gears, transfer cases, all those words that like make no sense when you're talking to somebody that's working on your vehicle. Let's talk about them. A-arms, straight axles, like what does that mean? What's the difference? What is it? What is it? How does it all go together? It's super confusing and I get it. So we're gonna do vehicle dynamics. I have this guy right here that he goes on tour with me and it's awesome because underneath is the undercarriage and you totally get it. And then we have creepers and you can go right underneath the Jeep and figure it all out and point right at it. Um, when do we use four by four, four wheel drive? When do we use lockers? When do we use sway bars? Like all those pro tips. Then we're gonna talk about winching, the basics plus a ton of pro tips and like when, how, what, why, right? The why, all the whys to everything. Recovery gear, we go through all of it. I have a huge toast like pulling rabbits out of the hat. And so we go through the whole thing so you understand what it is, why we need it, how it all goes together. And it's hands on ladies. Remember this is all hands on. Uh, tires, we're gonna change some BFG tires. We're gonna plug some tires learn how to air down, learn why we air down, learn what pressures we air down to, and the conversation behind all of that, of course. And then rig recoveries. So how do we use all of our recovery gear? How do we use our airing down? How do we use a pull pound? 
down. How do we use a pole pal and a dead man? And what are the pro tips and the ideas behind that? Like thinking outside the box where if you get stuck in a situation, how do you use now what you bought, right? Like you've got these cool things, but what does that mean? There's some driving tips snuck in there. Of course, this is not a vehicle based opportunity. You can come in your little car, you can come in your big truck, you can come in whatever you want, but we're utilizing my Jeep in a bay and we're working hands on. So you need to bring gloves, clothes, toed shoes, etc., to be able to be on task and play around, but you don't need to bring your car or your vehicle or your off-road vehicle. So you're just coming straight from work because it's mostly on weeknights. And then how to be a purchaser, how to be a great purchaser of parts. Uh, we are at off-road shops and so we'll be able to go in, check them out and see what you need in that way. Plus, I've done these classes before, we've counted them up, where all of a sudden you end up with 75 plus pro tips, tons of laughs, tons of fun, and guess what? You may even leave with a new friend because the cool part about these classes is you don't have to come with a friend, right? You can come all by yourself. We welcome you, you're fine, it's okay. Come, 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 come. And then there's all kinds of people. There's all kinds of people that are coming from within the exact same distance you did. I want you to get to know each other because now these are the ladies that are just as interested as you are in learning and being able to be in the same zone to where you can get together. So it's a very hands-on focus. This is our training tour for 2023. And are you ready for the fancy graphic, right? So the fancy graphic looks like this. It's going to start going out uh, tonight, if not tomorrow, probably tomorrow. And then the specific classes will be down here in the corner so that if you're in a localized environment, you can see what class is for you. But let's talk about this. Let's zoom in on the on the pin drops, right? So uh, I'm just going to run through it because it's going to be online and it either applies to you or it doesn't apply to you. But we do have some pretty cool things going on. So first of all, on Monday, Monday, September 25th, we will be in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So here is our starting point right there, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, Tuesday, the 26th, I'm going to go on a Mid-America Outdoors tour. So this is one of the new parks that's doing a lot of hot things. So we're going to go and we're going to go check that out and see what that looks like for us to do something there next year, maybe. Uh, Wednesday the 27th, we will be in Nashville, Tennessee, doing one of the classes. And then for the weekend, we will be at Wind Rock Park in Tennessee, participating in the Dixie Run event. So if you're going to be at Dixie Run, we will be there. We'll be hosting some classes, and that schedule will be posted online as we finalize everything there. The following week, we're going to bounce on down to Jacksonville, Florida for Monday, October 2nd. On Tuesday, we're going to come up to Clemson off-road to Clemson Four Wheel Center in South Carolina. And then on Wednesday, we'll be in Charlotte, North Carolina at Full Parts. Clemson, South Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina at Full Parts. For that weekend, we're going to go on up to Virginia to the Overland Expo East. And that's in Ty River, Virginia. Uh, they, we do have a discount code already posted on our website so you can participate and we will have classes there as well as, as well as a booth just like at Dixie Run. Then we're going to hit it hard ladies. So <laughs> Monday the 9th it's Glen Burnie and, um, and Four Wheel Parts and then Tuesday the 10th I am finalizing one. There's a ghost one right there. I don't know if you can see it. Wednesday the 11th we are going to head over to Columbus, Ohio to Total Off-Road and more. Thursday, we're going to hit Naperville, Illinois, Total Off-Road and more. Friday the 13th, I am finalizing another one. And then on Saturday, Saturday, Sheridan, Colorado, our Denver group. I got you guys on a Saturday at a decent time so you guys can all travel and get there and have some fun with us. Um, Monday. Monday, we're going to head to Salt Lake City. So we'll have a Salt Lake City at Four Wheel Parts on Monday night. And then on Friday, Friday, I'll come back. So during the week, Tuesday to Thursday, I'm doing my Tread Lightly board meeting. 
So I will be out of commission, but from Monday to Friday, Friday we will be in the San Diego area on October 20th. We'll be in West Covina on Saturday, October 21st. And then where I have taught you multiple things, multiple stops, I'm going to go learn on Sunday the 22nd and go out with a group of van, uh, sprinter van scenario people on one of their trail rides and learn that so I can start helping ladies there. So as much as you guys are always learning, I'm learning as well. And I think that that's super important. And then of course we're going to head back to my lab. So <laughs> quite the list, uh, um, quite the list and every single person needs to join. So if you haven't joined one of our classes before or training class, you need to get in there need to get hands on. This is very different. It's not very different, but it has different content than what we did the last time we came through to make sure that you guys have as much opportunity as possible to learn new things. So do not be shy to join us. Uh, we will have this posted up in the next day for you to start registering and get your name on the list. I know, I'm so excited. So, so excited. It's going to be an awesome, awesome trip. Um, so, that's what I have to talk about. What do you want to talk about? You want to talk about that thing called the convention that we just did? <laughs> Holy cow! What a great week. Epic week. Epic, epic week. Um, yeah, so it all started on a Sunday. <laughs> so it all started on a Sunday. Well, actually, let's bag it up even a day before. Uh, the day before, we were at the Offred Motorsports Hall of Fame dinner, and I will be posting more about that. I got, you know focused on the people in front of me while we are doing our convention instead of posting about everything else. So that's, that was a little crazy. Uh, but we were at the Offred Motorsports Hall of Fame dinner where two more women just got inducted in the Offred Motorsports Hall of Fame, which made a total of six. So very excited about that. And then boom, on we go to the convention. Now the convention took a, another turn. I think we ended up at plan number 999 by the time we ended the week because of weather. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my gosh, all this cool stuff that we had planned for outside for Tuesday and Wednesday, we got to pull to the front of the week for Monday. So even what I said a couple days back, like didn't even count. We totally just took it. We did it. Everything and more. We were not bored. Hashtag never bored. I saw, <laughs> I saw, um, uh, Barbara's new hashtag that she's putting out. Charlene made me do it because yeah, yeah, yeah. Barbara backed up a trailer like a boss and Barbara drove a Polaris Razor like a boss. <laughs> and so many other people pushed their boundaries. Sam, she actually put a radiator in a truck, right? And Jody, like, Holy cow and day, just the amazing push moments of everybody that participated and Kate and Melanie and getting after the steps on the Jeep, like everybody pushed into a, a different scene. The ladies that brought their, their RVs, having RV Dan there so that he could actually go through it with you and understand your buttons and understand what was happening. Um, so many awesome things that I'm not going to recap it tonight. I'm going to recap it next week after I've shown you guys some pictures. We have a ton of pictures in order to post up for you guys. But here's the deal. It's the last one. So if you missed the seventh convention, seventh BF Goodrich Tires Ladies Offered Convention brought to you by Polaris. That was it. Seven is the number. Yes, and Jessica is our ding ding. If there's a winner, a winner for the convention. Uh, she is the one that has joined all seven of them. And it was a huge moment and a huge thank you to her. Don't worry, Ladies Offer Network is not going away. Everybody stop panicking right now because holy cow, that's what happened as soon as I said this on the last night of the convention as well. It just means that the word is going away. I have something better up my sleeve. I have another idea. I have another plan. Don't worry, I have 30 days of driving. Did you just hear that schedule? 
We have 30 days of driving in order to finalize the plan and get it to you guys in December. But that word is going away. There's a couple things that are going away too, but I won't talk about that yet. Okay, so yes, I know you guys love the carrots. You love the carrots, but I'm so excited about this next chapter and it is okay. So uh, the, <laughs> the seventh convention wraps up our conventions. I loved every second of them. They were all so significantly different. Um, 2020 just really changed a lot of things, which is fine, right? That's how all of business worked. That went, that's how all of our lives worked. And I cannot wait until the next one. So it is awesome sauce. But I have to thank Val's on right now. Val came. She did rugged radios. We did, oh my gosh. Val, I have to tell you this story. Are you ready for this? So on Saturday, Friday night, you know, we shut down the convention. Saturday, we decided the girls wanted just to go explore. And the guys had a couple of short little trails to show us to go on. And I'm like, okay, fine, I'll go out with you. And everybody, everybody's like, so do you guys have radios? And I'm like, no, I don't have the handhelds here because they had already gotten pushed back in one of our go back scenarios because we weren't going on a trail. And uh, Danielle had all hers, so she handed me the bag of handhelds so that I could hand them out. And of course, I took one, and I handed everybody else out one. And it probably took about 20 minutes of me going down the trail to finally say, Hey guys, you want to hear something really funny? I forgot we installed a brand new rugged radio into the Jeep. So I'm going to get off this handheld now and move over to the installed one. So yes, it was very highly entertaining. That's where Charlene's brain was at the moment. <laughs> yes, yes, that was the moment. So um, it was really cool though to use the handheld as well as have the one that was installed. Uh, everybody was having a great time talking on the rugged radios. You know, it was nothing formal. So we were just chit chatting and having a good, good old time and got to see an arch and a really pretty overlook that I'd never been to. So it was a pretty neat deal. Uh, but yes, so <laughs> thanks to Val for coming, participating and not only helping with communication and understanding communication, but also just participating in the general, giving some good stories, um, bulletproof, bulletproof off-road diesel. We put in a new radiator. What else did we do? Rock slide engineering. We put the rock sliders onto the Jeep. My RV Dan we did a oil change and an air filter change and learned power, water, and refrigerators, as well as he walked around and helped every single person on what it was. Uh, the RMB 4x4 guys, oh my gosh, wait till I can show you the welding project. The welding project is so rad and it is so heavy <laughs> that it's still in the trailer until I can figure out where it's going because it's only going once probably, <laughs> but it turned out really, really cool. So the welding was awesome. A uh, huge thank you to Joe Marie who did the mapping. We had some topo mapping and understanding how mapping works. Uh, I did some Onyx mapping and gave everybody some Onyx points in order so that they could be successful at exploring Moab and exploring around when they had their opportunity to do that. Uh, we had Carrie Ann, who is a engineer in the in the big truck world, like the semi truck world. And so she came in, she told her story, she gave us a lot of information about the engineering piece. We had Anna from our Moab Recreation Area who came out and talked about uh, what they're doing in order to help keep the trails open here in the Moab area in Grand County, which then turned into our give back project. The girls, <laughs> holy cow, the ladies like full sweatshop went after it and put together a thousand, well, 900 plus prepped the next hundred uh, spill kits. We were missing one thing. So uh, 
So they prepped the last little bit for it. And I got those to Anna and her boss yesterday. They were so stoked. They didn't even think you guys would get half of it done. I'm like, don't you know who we are? <laughs> so that was awesome. Uh, Nancy, she is from the search and rescue, came over and chatted with us and talked about all kinds of cool things. You got to go to Grandpa's Garage, one of the iconic areas uh, in Moab in order to see what happens there. Um, goodness sakes, we had Barbara Rainey from the Offred Motorsports Hall of Fame talk about the Hall of Fame. We had Jody DeVere who was talking about uh, AskPatty.com and both of those are extremely significant from the off-road side and then from the ladies side and what's happening is on that edge. Polaris stepped up in a huge way and they provided the event to us on, or adventure, excuse me, with Outlaw Adventures on Friday and we went on two different trail rides and every single person got a lot of drive time in. Uh, we also went to Polaris shop and did how to change a, um, a slick rock off-road and how to change uh, a belt, how to, change, blah, 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 how to change a belt, and also how to change the oil on a side-by-side, -side, right? Like some big things and it was kind of interest intriguing the ladies that had learned how to do it last year versus this year like the pro tips that were given this year they also went through the backpack that he carries with all of his tools and all of his toolkit and i th i wrote a bunch of notes that's going to go up into our store of things to buy so that's super exciting just one thing after another the rmb 4x4 guys were on point on task uh, we revealed a YJ project that happened, and so they are, the ladies, like, stripped it all down. It's stripped. It's ready to go on to its next phase. So it started as, like, a, I honestly thought there was axles under it a couple weeks ago when I saw it, but there wasn't. It was just sitting on some tires, and so they brought that over, <laughs> so they brought it into the shop, and it was really a junkyard find. So the ladies got all stripped and ready to rock and roll. Uh, what am I missing, you guys? Holy cow, that was such a week. I talked a lot. Imagine that. Uh, Mom was there. Uh, Wes helped with all the food. Man, did we eat good as always, which is yumminess. So that was great. I don't know. We just had an excellent group of people that, uh, that really supported every single lady in every single way. Everybody came with a different need. Everybody came with a different want. And in my opinion, watching everybody leave, everybody got it. And that's what matters to me. And we were not bored. There was not a lot of sleeping going on. I know, I try, I try, I really try. Like I even, I even mapped it in this year for a nap didn't work didn't work I try <laughs> oh well oh well not next time no next time so congratulations to all the ladies that made one of the seven convention it was uh, it's been an excellent run uh, I'm excited to move on to our next chapter with a lot of cool stuff but next on the list, if you guys missed it, is our Ladies off Road Network 2023 tour. It's coming up fast. Um, this is the big graphic. And so we just definitely want to let everybody know what's happening and what's going on. Uh, and we will have all of those graphics up in the website up tomorrow. And so people can start signing up. Yep. Everything is unloaded. Huge thanks to my mom. Uh, my mom, Danielle, Rose, and Wes. Holy cow. We moved everything out. We got everything final cleaned up. And we're already unloaded, like, as of Sunday night. Sunday afternoon, really. <laughs> so that I could get everything put away. 
and ready to load back out. So that's where we're at. I sincerely appreciate the help. Let's give them all some hearts because it really does matter. Like this was a massive team effort, my friends. And I think a lot of you that are on right now were part of that and I need you to understand how much I appreciate you for that. So it was excellent, it was fun. I appreciate being able to provide the opportunity, but really you guys helped me execute it in one way or another and I really do appreciate that. So there is one more thing, um, maybe it can get brought to me so that we can show it off. But the, <laughs> the one other thing that was super special was Cindy's blanket. And I have to tell you about it. So Cindy crocheted a gorgeous blanket. It's teal and tan. Teal and sand is what she put it as. Uh, teal and dirt. And so it was in a box. And when we, we have giveaway nights. And so our giveaway night was on Friday night and I was doing it. And every year I do it a little bit different. And so the ladies had an opportunity to pick one thing and they could look in the bag and if they didn't like it they could set it down but then the second bag they had to take it right so with that being said i was like well this box i don't want to take it out of the box it stays in the box so i showed off the blanket the teal and sand blanket hopefully it'll come to me soon and the teal and sand blanket i just sing Hey, this is what it's all about and isn't it awesome and it was so gorgeous and it was so rad and so excellent and she sent it because she couldn't make it this year and then Jody grabbed the blanket everybody ooed and nod and Jody took the blanket she was the first one to take the blanket I love it that was rad great person to take the blanket she said I've had all kinds of experiences with Cindy that'd be great until I got home yesterday, <laughs> I don't know where I was, I got home, and the blanket was on the bed. So Jody had given Wes the blanket, and the blanket has made it back here, and it is awesome, it's gorgeous, it is gorgeous, it's amazing, and it's going to go in the beeve and will be on all of our trips now um, for it to go <laughs> and stay stay on the tour um, and keep us all going because it absolutely does match everything in the beef. So, I, of course I wanted the blanket, <laughs> but I had to give the blanket away. That was not a back-end deal. Jody did what she wanted to do. <laughs> I think Dana's like the most upset about the blanket, but anyways. <laughs> Dana, you'll have to come in the beeve and you can hang out with the blanket. We'll <laughs> let everybody hang out with the blanket now. That's the special part. There you go. Now, see, we have the black cat that goes around and we have the blanket that goes around so everybody can be happy as we go around the country. <laughs> so, yes, to big hearts, the blanket has made its way um, into a very special place. So... Thank you, Cindy, for that. I definitely appreciate you for that. And I think the only other thing that I need to mention was our duck race. Yeah. So, of course, we have to race, my friends. Like, we have to race, right? And that's what we do. Like, we might be a little competitive. And I didn't really have any time set in there for us to have to make race cars like we have. And everybody's kind of made a race car, so it is what it is. Um, so I'm like, you know, there was a pond where we were staying. I'm like, how fun would this be to race ducks across the pond? Now, the pond is truly a pond, not a river. So how do we get to get them to move? So I bought these really big ducks. They're pretty rad. <laughs> and uh, and then I bought some water guns <laughs> in order to move them. Yeah, well, the water guns did not work because they were too small. But no, I could not afford 30 super soakers. So so the water guns, whatever. It did. I mean, they did work to a degree. A couple of people that used them, it did work out. Um, <laughs> but then... They didn't go anywhere. So the girls were extremely innovative 
and got the water to start going with a couple paddles that they found. Danielle in, indirectly fell into the water, and so she started pushing hers across and swam hers across. So she is our official winner of the duck race, and I'm fine with it. Like, you want to commit like that, girl? You commit like that. That does definitely get you first place, right? And so, oh my gosh, this duck race is hysterical. You will have to wait for the video because it was something that, that I just can't explain right now. That's what I'm saying, you guys. You have got to come out. Come out of your house. Come and join us. Put the time aside. Enjoy. Come and laugh. Like, we're always doing crazy things. Even in our four-hour classes, our five-hour timeline that we have as we're going across the country to our, I don't know, three to four day, five day opportunities that we'll have for you next year, block out the time. And in December, we're gonna put that big block out so you can understand when that's going to be. So you can start penciling it in. You can set your time off requests in the way that you need it to and um, get what you want out of it, of course. So, so many laughs, so much chaos, so much chaos. I don't know. That's about all I got. Did I miss anything? I didn't see anybody type in anything that I missed along the way. So I think we're pretty good. But again, I appreciate everybody coming and supporting our seventh and final Ladies Off Red convention. Don't worry. There's more. There's a lot more stuff going on. Just because we're retiring that word doesn't mean I'm retiring. No stress. Because especially we have our Ladies Off-Road Training Tour 2023 coming to a town near you. Yes, I'm driving across the country. You guys might need to drive a couple hours. Yes, it is on a weeknight. These classes are on a weeknight, so you might have to take a little bit, half day off of work or something to come and do it, but it's going to be totally worth it in the big picture. So make sure that you are taking advantage of the opportunities um different class than what we've done in the past so that you guys can learn some more as we do that in addition we will be at the dixie run in tennessee and we will be at overland expo east in virginia so those are our two big weekend events that we will join into as well so lots going on hashtag never bored straight from that is this where i tell a secret or do I tell it next week? Shh. Don't, don't tell anybody. Okay, can you promise? I promise. I promise not to tell anybody. Like, it's not on the internet yet. I don't think. I was told we could, but I haven't seen it. Are you good with that? Shh. It's just gotta be us. It's just going to be us, okay? Like, don't post it everywhere. You can't, like, run around telling everybody. Yeah, pinky swear. All right, everybody, right, use your pinky swear. Where are you at? I can't see it. I can't see it. Okay. Are you ready? Are you sure? I told you there was something going on for the Baja 1000. I know, throw the O face right now. That's so rad! It's the 50th. It's a point to point, and it's a backwards point to point. It's the first time ever that they've done a backwards point to point. So excited. Um, so I will be posting about who the team is and all of that here very shortly. I gotta get myself. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's so much going on. Oh, yeah, there's SEMA in there too. So uh, I'll be racing the Baja 1000. <sighs> I know! That's so cool. Uh, I've done just about everything except for be in a car. So very excited about that. And um, yes, very excited about that. So you guys are my team. You guys are my team. You guys are my cheer team. And I need every single one of you on that. So super excited about it. All right. Yeah, so uh, like I said, we're not slowing down, my friends. <laughs> we're just rearranging things a little bit. Uh, so we got the tour, we got SEMA, and then we got the Baja 1000. 
And then I think I'm going to take a nap, if you don't mind. Sound good? <laughs> Say naps are okay. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be... It's going to be a crazy couple months, but i um, super excited and proud of every single one of you. Um, proud of myself for getting through this. I'm not going to lie. Like The convention was something uh, that was not what we planned for the last 10 months, but it turned out amazing, and I'm really excited to get back out on the road. It's been entirely too long since 2019 since we've done this. Uh, Day is going to be my partner in crime for the whole time of the, well, almost the whole time of the tour. Uh, and then I have, a, Jenny is going to step in as well. So I have some great help that's going to be out there and um, very excited, very excited. We have a few, like 30 days in order to brainstorm life as we drive, which is going to get you guys even more excited about what we have coming up and uh, I already I already got the pencil plan and I really like it so I think you guys will as well and I appreciate you so here's the deal for the next few Tuesdays meaning the like the next two months up until probably December we're not having our four o'clock call the four o'clock call is going to go to the wayside I'm going to push the five o'clock call the best that I can uh, but we definitely will be on the gas. It'll be a short one. It'll be a, hey, we're here at this <laughs> at this shop right now. <sighs> and then off I go because I'm teaching a class. Uh, so I'm not going to break my streak. Like, we'll still go live as, as possible. But I do need you guys to understand we're going to be on the road, going to be on the road, going to be on the road. So we got a couple months here of go, go, go. And that four o'clock call is going to drop off, uh, and then we will bring it back in December, December, January. We'll see how December rolls, but uh, for sure not in October and November. Okie dokie. So that is, like I said, that's the update for Tuesday. <laughs> it feels like, feels like old times and there's like a thousand things going on. I'm excited about it. Everybody throw a heart. Everybody throw an O-face, everybody throw something, press the buttons, and I'm out of here. I think it's Taco Tuesday, isn't it? That's what I'm thinking. Sounds good to me. All right, have a great Tuesday, and I will see you next week.